This video is not for the sensitive hoes. The ones who can't take anyone else's opinions except for their own. If you can't have a mature conversation, then darling, this video is not for you. You will be blocked immediately. Now remember to keep it cute, keep it mute, or get the boot. Now preparing to nanny port to Nina's raw view in 3, A2, A1. Welcome back, guys. You can't get rid of me that easy. It's me, Pierre, once again, aka Nina, Bonina, Banana, Bafana, Beauty Studio Brown, and I am back in the house. I'm gonna call this look Fantasia. First, let's put in those contact lenses and make sure you prime your face. You wanna put on your face condom. Now we're going to glue on the fan piece before you put on foundation so it sticks. Blow dry. A little liquid latex to cover the line. Ooh, it stinks. You guys, I'm doing this voiceover because I tried to post a regular video, but it says copyright because of the music. But anyway, put on your foundation, concealer, Then start contouring with the creams. Blend everything together. Now powder, set, highlight. I'm doing my eyebrows. Contour with the powders to set it. Cut that cheek. Moving on to the eyeshadow. I'm going with a color that kind of blends in with the fan on my head. Now some water activated Mineron paint and trying to blend the fan into my forehead. Line those eyes. Mascara before the lashes. Now a little decorating and trying to match the flowers on my head to the fan. Dust the powder off, put on a little blush. Draw them lips. I'm going for a more geisha inspired spray and we're done. Well guys, I hope you are a fan of this look. I'm here all day, guys. Please tip. Hello guys. Welcome back to an all new Raw View. It's me, Pierre, AKA Nina Bonina Brown. You are now tuning in for another Painted with Raven Raw View. Don't ask me what episode it is because I couldn't tell you. You know how we do here. This is a place where you come to keep it cute, keep it mute, or you will get the boot. The boot. There's something about this look I have on that is making me speak this way. Oh, I feel so high class and royal and rich. Oh, exquisite. Oh. Definitely eating the finest cuisines, Olive Gardens, Applebee's, Old Country Buffet, Outback Steakhouse. Only the what the rich could afford, darling. Nothing less, nothing cheap. Oh. Okay, yeah, so we are going to be, what episode? <laughs> oh, we're on episode four, so yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, oh, I'll read a few comments. And those of y'all, y'all should know, those of y'all that would like to tip and support me, by all means, please do. 
you know, because a lot of y'all just refuse to like and subscribe for some reason. So eventually this channel, for real, I always said this, but the chan this channel probably will most likely become for members only, you know, because if it's not growing in numbers, then that means that it's just the same people watching me. So I might as well make it just a membership program. I will repeat this again on my Drag Race Raw View. Um, Cause I keep doing these things for like free on YouTube and people are tuning in every week, but they're not pressing subscribe or like. Cause they want to just watch in the background, but not give me the subscribe because they don't want to support in that kind of way. So I'm gonna have to make it a membership only thing. So sorry about that to those of y'all that have been loyal, but if you're loyal, you'll pay for it. Um, <laughs> But yeah, all the tipping information will be in the description box down below. Actually, I don't see any comments that are standing out right now. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get to it. Um, yeah, let's get to it. I'm still, I'm still mad at Elena and that old lady punched in the eye look. <laughs> I knew I was gonna lose it because I'm not used to these things. Wait, what? You're not used to these things, but isn't your channel allegedly, you know, you doing all these different, different kind of makeup? Or do you mean like you're not used to a competition? Like, I don't get it. Cause you do all kind of stuff, so what are you not used to? Oh, okay. She means that she's not good at the quick paint, cause she didn't know. I, I figured she must not know how to blend it or something, cause it was so messy. You went to the dirty place. Dirty, funky little Turk about. Okay, Raven looks snatch here. Like, I kind of don't like how she looks all bald in the front with a little baby curl, <laughs> but she looks snatch here. I can't even like. I can't really say anything bad. Like her face is literally, when you look at a face chart of Mac Cosmetics, that's how her face looks. It's carved for the gods. Like it's carved. Like it's definitely carved. Like I can't even. The eyes are girl. girl whose Asian auntie is this? Constructed to build a full look designed around big, beautiful brows. I'm mad for this challenge being having big, big bushy brows, and this is the day Raven does the most thinnest brows. <laughs> I hate, I never, I'm eating y'all, y'all know. I never liked this trend that was on YouTube where everybody was doing the little like painting half of their face. So they'll do like Baby Grinch or Baby, um, that thing from Star Wars. What's his name? Yoga? Yoda? Or Tiffany from Chucky. <laughs> and they all do that stupid thing with that stupid trend on TikTok with the doorbell ringing while they're doing makeup. Like ding dong. And they're all like, and then somebody's wheeze coughing in the laugh in the background, <laughs> and then make a, and then the artist looking all around like, oh my god, I can't believe somebody's at my door. I'm so busy. Ugh. <laughs> See, maybe I don't get all popular because I don't do those stupid trends. <laughs> Thank you, Luna. How? Wait. I thought the challenge was do bushy brows. Like, why would you do this look when it takes focus away from off the brows? Like, this this whole face is, like, doing too much. Like, I'm not really focusing on, on the brows. And plus, she didn't really do a good job with this illusion because maybe Photoshop and stuff, it would be better. But, I, no. Maybe I missed the concept. How's that brows? These artists, I swear. I, I if y'all are watching, I'm sorry, but some of y'all doing too much. <laughs> when I see this, I'm not thinking about eyebrows. I'm just like, oh, they have on green shadow and a green leaf. Like I don't like where. And those honestly secretly don't read caterpillars. Like I appreciate the using the different like texture to try to give like that kind of like caterpillar effect. But it doesn't really read Caterpillar. Like, I'm just like, I don't know. Maybe better in pictures. It's okay. Now, yeah, like when, when I see that, it's very um, um, divine. It's very divine. And yeah, I mean, you definitely see eyebrows. Like, yeah, like like those are eyebrows. Like, oh, you know, <laughs> very divine, very Ursula, you know. Um, Yeah, it's, yeah, I mean, I see brows, you know. Those read horns. They don't read eyebrows. I think they're trying to be so different that they're missing the assignment. <laughs> like, those read horns. They don't really... I think it's the placement of it. Like, it's maybe the placement of where you, of where you put it, Tucker. Maybe had you had had it 
going out towards like the ear, towards the sideburn, you know, going out that way, it would read more like eyebrows, but it doesn't like horns. I don't really eyebrows personally. You. Once again, I don't get eyebrows. I just get a design. Like this is like a geisha. I'm a I know my sis has a wide nose, but I wish she would have at least brought the contour in to kind of pinch the nose a little bit. But I'm just getting geisha mask, a geisha face mask with a design on the forehead. I don't know, y'all let me know in the comment section, do y'all see these things? So I just see like a, like a design, like a design on the forehead versus like brows. Personally, for me, I don't really see. Boring. My main focus isn't the eyebrows. Y'all doing too much. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all are doing way too much. Like, I'm not focusing on your eyebrows. And then one of them are a little, it's a little, like you didn't put some makeup on one part. I mean, like, yeah, it's like sad eyebrows. Like, the I can see the frowned expression. But I'm just looking at overall, like, oh, this is pop art. I'm not really looking at the focus is like the brows. I don't know, maybe I'm just a different kind of person. Like, my eyes are like, hey, if they say brows... My eyes should go right to the eyebrows. I should be like, oh, brows. Like, yeah, that's like, oh, wow. I'm just looking at everything else. The dots, the, the tears, the mouth. And I'm like, oh, and then there goes an angry, uh, a sad brow. Are you sad to see me? Oh. <laughs> I hate that edit because Ray was like, oh, are you just sad to see me? And then she looked, and then she looked like, I, I don't get it. I'm over it. <laughs> and the way they edited that, she was like, her face was like, Oh, Raven, you'll never understand. <laughs> I can't. Here comes Ari. Okay. This reads... Yeah, I, okay, I can see brows here. Like, I can see brows here. This is kind of cool. Like, okay, I'm going to like... I'm like, yeah, the brows. And then it's like, yeah. This reads brows to me. Good job with that. You are the winner of this week. Okay. I can agree. And the second would have been for me... I don't remember all the names. The girl before with the white stripe kind of like eyebrow moment. So I agree with this because like this reads eyebrows. Like even though she has this extreme eye going on too, but the brows are still the focal point. You're like, oh, good job with that. Mimic the mug of a celebrity of your choice. Oh Lord. <laughs> they had to turn to celebrity impersonation. Y'all know, know I said I was laughing at the last year one, the other one where the guy did Whoopi, but the late Claudette from DVD, the person who did Rihanna, must I remind you of that look again? I don't. <laughs> oh, I hope I, I I hope I don't see another one of those, please. Celebrity impersonation. This is kind of my special. Okay, but I want to. Okay, she's saying that her specialty is this. Okay, look, I want to see this look though without the filter. I want to see can she really look like Mariah Carey without the filter? Because you know we all need a little filter online to help us further showcase our look to help amp it up some you know and nothing is wrong with that but i want to see this look without a filter I, I wish she was doing this challenge so i could see what she could do for real for real i mean because this is good but i'm quite sure it's filtered too i'm quite sure like you know maybe a little pinched maybe a little something you don't see it mark i see it i see mariah here i see it i hate that part though but I see it. It's like, cause, because Mariah has those Michael Myers cheeks. <laughs> I'm not reading her, but you know. If you look at the, Mike, the Michael Myers mask, it comes all the way in towards the nose. And then she did a good job with, like, the contour of the of, of the chin, you know. So, yeah, I mean, I see it. Like, nobody's, nobody's ever going to look exactly like the person unless you literally maybe get surgery to look just like them. But as just a makeup artist of what we're, good, of what we're able to do with our brush, this is a good job. I'm doing prints. Because... Oh, he's doing prints. <laughs> I mean, that's an easy choice. I mean, but hopefully he can pull it off, but that's an easy choice for him, so... I'm do Michael Jackson. Oh, my God. Chicken Man's doing Michael Jackson. <laughs> I already hate this. I already know this is going to be a mess. I already hate it. I already... I'm scared to see this. <laughs> is he doing Michael Jackson? Because he... You know, my good chicken sis got a... You know, she, she got a wide nose. Is she doing Michael... Before the Liza Minnelli surgery that Michael had, <laughs> I am. Come on. <laughs> hey guys, it's me. Some of you may simply know me as Michael Jackson. 
To others, you may even know me as the King of Pop. To some, God. <laughs> Girl, I am ready to see what he gonna give. I'm going to be doing the iconic Selena thing to me. Girl, just because you're Mexican does not mean you have to do Selena. Because just you, you as a guy, I don't even see it being something possible. But I'm going to look and see. Maybe she'll surprise me. But I'm like, girl, I'm ha girl. Now, look, I ate Mac the other day. I did eat Mexican candy. So that makes me half Mexican. So don't do Selena wrong, girl. I'm going for Doja Cat. I see that for Ariana. I think that's, she, you know, Ariana, Ariana's a little more, you know, thick or chubbier, but I can see her pulling off Doja Cat. I can see it. I can see it. One of the most ridiculous persons that's somewhat relevant right now. Raven looks so unimpressed. <laughs> like she's listening, but with such a dead face. Like not, not, not a cure in the world. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait, that's Joe Exotic? He looks like he's doing... It, it was some alien thing that had big droopy um, face and big eyes. Not E.T., but it was like another Disney thing. I can't think of the name right now, but that's what he looks like secretly. Nail this. I didn't see it was Joe Exotic, but I can see that you're going. Oh, that's the show. Thank you. And Mac and me. Thank you, too. Mac and me. That's what he looked like to me. And Raven's already saying she didn't really see it. So I don't know if that's a good sign, but, you know, maybe once he has the wig on and stuff. So you did glamrock. She's doing Freddie Mercury. Okay. I think my issue with a lot of these artists, for me personally, when I turn to somebody, I guess because I don't do all the like literal harsh contours. Because you know, that's so funny. People can be like, I was harsh with my makeup. But now it's like sometimes you have to have lines there or highlights there to make the look pop. So I get it. Get, uh, so I understand that. But sometimes like I feel like these things maybe work better for pictures. But like, it's just like so literal. It's like boom, 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 where it doesn't look like natural. And I guess my issue is like when I try to do like celebrity looks, I still blend it away so that when I take pictures or videos, you don't just see a bunch of like lines, if that makes sense. Even though this will probably make you look more like a person. But to me, it's just so like line there, a line here, a line there, a line there. But every, but hey, I understand. Last week. Yes. And now you're doing glam rock this week. Um, so Raven's trying to scare her with like, well, you did a, 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 a punk or goth rock or whatever last week. And now you're doing Freddie Mercury, which is another rock. It's like, but that's, that's different though. Like you had them do futuristic rock, like makeup where she's like a robot. She's just turning into a celebrity, Freddie Mercury. So that has nothing to do with anything. Girl, do your thing. <laughs> so I am starting to contour to try. <laughs> I'm like, is he already trying to talk to Michael? So I am trying to contour my cheekbones so I look just like Diana Ross, my favorite. Girl, this nose contour is already... <laughs> I am already scared and nervous and... <laughs> I don't know. I don't do impersonations, child. I don't, I, I don't really look like nobody. Be no shade, but I feel like nobody should go on this show. But I guess it'll be a saying for me saying like people saying that nobody should go on drag race if they, if they can't sew. But I'm still going to say it, though. I don't think anybody should go on this show who hasn't done mostly every type of makeup. Because they're going to ask you to do all kind of makeup. So if you've never done, like, celebrity impersonation kind of makeup, or you've never done, like, pop art or certain things, you shouldn't sign up because, I mean, I feel like you should have all these things a little bit under your belt that you have tried. Seriously. So you, so I mean, I don't know. What do y'all think about that? She is an icon. She was such a natural beauty with just a big, beautiful red lip and a brow. That's one of those things that's kind of like hard because it's going to have to be really common. Right, it's true. That's the thing. Certain celebrities, they don't really have any features that stand out that makes it easy for a makeup artist to turn to them. Like, yeah, Selena, okay, we know her for, like, her full lips, her red lipstick, and her, like, you know, her, maybe her brows. But unless you already kind of have a naturally kind of, like, because Selena had a kind of more rounder, kind of chubbier face a little bit. And unless you just already have, she didn't really have, like, cheekbones and, you know, these things on your face. Like, for instance, when, you do, when you're doing somebody like Sheer, 
um, Dolly Parton or something like that, their eyelids are so pronounced or like, they're or, or like some cheekbones. You know, somebody that has very distinct features, it's easy to turn to because you can just draw. But like, for instance, trying to turn to Beyonce, that's hard to do. Unless you just already look like Beyonce to a, a extent, then yeah, but Beyonce has no features at all. She's just cute. She's a cute girl. <laughs> you, you get what I'm saying? Like, like there's nothing on her face that really stands out at all that you really can like draw and make happen. It's just, a, she's almost like a plain girl in a way, but she's cute. So yeah, you have to already have like certain distinct features to make it easier to like turn to somebody. Because some people are tricky. They really are. Oh, uh, don't you cap? Just Somebody told her. Mm -hmm. Don't use wigs. Just do your natural beauty. Don't do wigs. But some of them need the wigs in order for the look to work out. So like, for example, her doing Doja Cat, you want her to just to have a face and no wig to help it out? Do you? Honestly, I'm kind of nervous. Why? See, right now, Joe looking more like Michael Jackson to me. <laughs> at, at the moment, he probably should have done Michael over Prince. The purpose of this, but I don't want it to be so minimal that it's just gonna do- Wait, I don't get it. You don't want it to be minimal, but yet you're doing Prince, which is kind of easy for you, so it makes it a little minimal. Because you already have the hair, you already have the skin, the skin complexion. I mean, it's not gonna be that much harder. <laughs> I want it to be like, oh, you look like him. I want it to be like, oh, you look like him. What? <laughs> I, I think I, it's like maybe she didn't change her, the way she put the words out. It just sound the same. So I don't want people to look at me and say, oh, you look like him. I want people to say, oh, you look like him. Maybe it should have been like, I don't want people to say like, oh, you look like him. I want people to say, oh, you look like him. Like, that would make me be like, oh, okay, I get what you're saying. <laughs> it was just said the same exact way. Like, okay. Someone who knows how to paint the stock. Girl, when I tell you these LA men will do their face for the guy, <laughs> like, they all kind of look alike. It's kind of scary. It's like, you, it's like, yeah, you're cute, but kind of scary, honestly. <laughs> Like you, like I don't like if we were in the bed together, and I, I was like, oh, I, I may jump a little bit, like, oh. <laughs> but I'm not mad at them because, like, I like, like secretly, I would, you know, get work done too. But I don't want to look like everybody else. Like it'd be like so plastic. I can't. Like it's so plastic. Um. This is like an old Asian uncle who came to America and said, I want to be American. Um, <laughs> it's like, I kind of, I, it's only the wig. Like, it's the wig that makes you say, oh, okay, that's Joe. But this could have been like some, like, I don't know, some, some Asian, like, I don't know, guy, like, <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's like the, and then maybe it's the literal contour. Like he tried to make his face look more box and narrow, but it's all you see is a line coming down here. Like he literally just drew his face to be square. It didn't like blend it out or anything. Um, uh, he should have chose somebody else. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god! They kind of like Shane Sung from Mortal Kombat. But Shang Tsung, who goes to America, he's cool now. Like, he no longer steals souls. He steals your heart. Ay. Can you believe that Joe Exotic has had three husbands and I've had none? Oh, <laughs> Raven. But I feel you, girl. <laughs> it be some people. You're like, wait now. How the heck did you have a boyfriend so for so long? How, how, how did you get? How? <laughs> And you, and you you go looking in the mirror like and then, and then you're and then you're looking at them like wait huh okay <laughs> okay next uh, Tucker Tucker no I just see Tucker I just see Tucker like where's Lady Gaga besides you putting the thing on your forehead it's like 
it's just it's just you you should have chose somebody else and then if you're gonna do a lady gaga look you need to do something do something that's more in my opinion memorable i don't even remember her wearing, wearing this wig or, or color but also i haven't been keeping up with her lately but i would think back to like old school lady gaga or something edge of glory oh Next. <laughs> Ew. i hated how she just came into the camera all buck tooth and and <laughs> oh. y'all know when i say about like land insider and them and how they do these literal comic book contours like this is what i mean like it's so many lines and shading that i would appreciate if this was like okay a comic book look or something but it's like the literal painting on the face to try to make a look like, I don't know if they understand that you can do all that, but still blend it away some and still kind of look the person versus having all these literal, like, lines here and there. It's just so literal. Um, <laughs> not a human squirrel. <laughs> I do see that. <laughs> I mean, but she definitely does look a little different from herself, so kudos on that. But, um, no. For me, I'm sorry. But I will say, I do love the eyebrows. You did a really good job with the eye. Like the eyebrows looks real. It looked real. It really does. Like you, you, you did a great job with that. Yes. Next up is Adi. Uh, okay. She did a good job. I mean, I would have done maybe a little more color on the lip or so. But I think also she already looks like Doja Cat already. She does. Like they were saying, like they were saying, like a lot of girls they can do things because they already kind of look the person, so they don't really change their face that much. But I will say she was trying to change her face. Like she was really there trying to like change some features. But she already kind of looks like Doja Cat, you know. So so far, this is the best one. Next up is Luna. This could, this could just be just him in drag, you know, just doing like, you know, his drag, his drag makeup. Somebody said they should have done Cellular Cruise. <laughs> I mean. Next up, Secretly, I like my Prince look better. And I'm a whole like shades darker than this person and i feel like i did a better job fight me I, I just did because i truly transformed my face to another like kind of thing i this this could be chico de barge you know and I, i'm not saying i look 100 percent like prince but i but i definitely did a lot more transformation um the hair is nice <laughs> now he's giving johnny depp <laughs> Yeah, I don't really, I mean, this is, I mean, it's, you know, I don't think he did much to his face besides, like, maybe contour his nose, but I don't know if he really did much extra that much besides putting on, like, a nice, like, foundation. Maybe, uh, let's go crazy. And I'm like, and I'm like, what is that around his neck? Is it toilet paper? <laughs> but I guess it's tool. <laughs> oh! And finally, we have Q. <laughs> Girl, I had to gasp. <laughs> it's like, okay, like I'm not gonna completely like read him because like, yeah, like you would see this and say, oh, he's doing a Michael Jackson look, you know? I think also because his nose is just naturally bigger, it's hard to make it smaller. Um, The lips are really wide. Because Michael, Michael does have a wider, thin lip. Well, when he got, you know, all the work done kind of wider and across. So I know what he's trying to do with that. You know, I'm not going to completely like, you know, get in the, but the nose contour at the bottom is what really messes it up. I get what you're trying to do, but lip, that's, that's a bad way of like doing your nostrils. It just looks like an Emily corpse bride or something. It's just like, it could have been done better than that. But I mean, you know. Absolutely awful. Thank you so much. Now you look so awful. Thank you so much. Thank you. I can't. 
talk because the teeth will ruin the illusion. What's teeth? It's polymorph plastic. It's like little pellets that melt. Okay, maybe she made the teeth too big, but kudos though, because like I've tried, it, I I work with that stuff before. It is hard to do that kind of stuff. It is to to mold it and all that. So kudos to you even for even doing that. Good job on that. You know, on, on just making your own prosthetic teeth. In a way, it looks like a painting. Crazy. It's all saying like a painting. It doesn't really look like I'm looking at a real person doing a like celebrity impersonation. It's like a painting, you know. But maybe she. I don't know incorporate color and like tiny wings. I wish Raven would, I don't think she's intentionally doing it, but I wish she would like try to like make her face look a little more like caring, like she cares. Cause she'd be looking at somebody and it's like, is Raven judging me? Does she hate me? Does she want to kill me? <laughs> like, like she doesn't, she doesn't try to look sincere. Like I feel you brother. It's like a cold stern, like, <laughs> like she would scare me. I wasn't sure if it was gonna come out too glam, so I was like, make it, make it boy. But Prince is kind of glam, so I mean, and boy, so you know. An armband. We see a mustache and buck teeth. So we. Oh yes, look at yeah. At these pictures, and she can't help it. You know, she's she's fish. She got a smaller chin, but yeah, Freddie had a big wide jaw, and she looks like if Freddie no shade was got sick or something and was a little sickly and lost some weight, then that's what I guess it looks like. They didn't sidestep. The way the, the contour goes up and then- Now they wrong for putting the pictures together cause now he looks nothing like Michael Jackson. <laughs> like I ain't had to put a picture beside him now. <laughs> Audi as Doja Cat. I just see Audi with pretty makeup on. Now come on Raven. Now I get what you're saying cause once again I'm saying this is just a girl that already kind of looks like her. But you didn't say that about Joe doing Prince. Um, like same thing. Like you, the way the way they be judging is so weird to me. It's like so, some other people just now literally didn't do much either. But you're like, uh, but then it's like, yeah. But she looks like Doja Cat. <laughs> she didn't have to do much because they already kind of look alike. Glam, which I guess could be said for Joe as well. Okay, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> I'm like, okay, there you go. Okay. You are both the winners of this week's challenge. So Michael and Joe Exotic are the top two. They both won. I would I would have put Ari there in one of those slots. Uh, but congrats, y'all. Jackson down. How do you like that? <laughs> Why? If they don't stop showing that girl looking like a beaver, <laughs> looking like eager beaver, if they don't stop showing her. <laughs> If you asked her to take off her wig, <laughs> Nikki Nick would not look like the Cider King anymore. Oh, true. It's but it's the truth. That's what I'm saying. It's it's true. <laughs> but I don't think the paparazzi would recognize you. That's oh. so shady. Luna. Oh. <laughs> well, it is Raven. Tucker and Luna. Talk. Tucker and Luna are doing the face chart off, so let's see who wins. Selena is my idol. You have two minutes to show me what you- I mean, it's nice that Selena's your idol, but it doesn't mean y'all look alike. <laughs> Girl, okay. <laughs> Unembarrassed for the Selena fan base because I- Yeah, he knows the Mexicans are very overprotective and will throw rocks at him. <laughs> Trust me, I know. I have a knot in the back of my head from so many years ago. <laughs> but- if they if if they beat you up over that, f them, okay? Like, girl, please. Anyway, you you still were nice enough to bring to bring Selena to the show, you know, and and still keep her legacy going, whether you look like her or not. You still try to do something for Selena, so that's all that matters. Right. Oh, I think the girls are having a hard time blending on these chic. These must be some cheap sheets or what they're using is not good product. Like both of these are just not great when it comes to like execution because of the blending. Now I will say, I forgot the name. Um, is it Luna? Um, the blend is better there, but it's so plain and dull, but it is better there. And actually I do see more of like a, um, gradient a ombre effect going on with the eye there i kind of like tucker's a little more only because it's so bold but then it's not really like 
a gradient ombre effect. It's like two separate colors that aren't blending in together to look like a seamless rainbow or so. You know what I'm saying? So maybe Luna deserves this one, even though I wouldn't mind seeing, seeing more of you, Tucker. But I think Luna did a better job, even though it's so soft and so plain. Congratulations, you are the winner of the Quick Paint Challenge. Wait, what? I, T Tucker, T you know I want to see you more than Luna, secretly, no shade. But I think Luna did a better job only because it truly was like a color going into another color. But congratulations, what do y'all think down below? Let me know. Confident about my artistry and that's what these shows do but when you sign up for these shows that's what happens it's, it's almost like you shouldn't do these shows if you want to be comfortable with what you do and in your bubble and you have people that like your stuff does that mean you're growing if everybody's liking your stuff and there is no growth no but if you're comfortable in that then don't don't do these kind of shows because that's what i'm saying like people have their fan base when they're home and everybody blows their head up and then when you come on a show of a bigger magnitude, then you're like, wait, am I not that great? I thought I was perfect because all my fans always tell me. Well, yeah, don't do these shows if you really don't want to hear it. Okay, this is dramatic. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is Girl, you're not going home. Girl, girl, you're just muted next week, child. Come on now, girl. This is not like some big, gigantic, major show. It Maybe for you, it's, it is a big thing, so I don't want to like take that from you, but it's not the end of the world. You'll be okay. We can't hear. <laughs> Elena, please stop. <laughs> that just made it more comical, her writing it down. Like, stop. <laughs> They're really trying to get an Emmy this year. <laughs> like, that's not a good look because it's gonna make it seem like you can't get through the competition at all. So I don't know. I did enjoy this episode though. It was a little more fun. Y'all, thank you for watching. As always, like the tip and support, all that will be in the description box down below. And um, let me know all y'all's comments down below. Well, those of y'all that, that come and watch this, because there'd be very few people. <laughs> I'm like, where are my fans who watch the same drag race videos? Like, dang. <laughs> People claim they love to hear what I have to say, no matter what I'm talking about. But the views and numbers never add up. I don't understand. <laughs> anyway, um, stay beat. Stay beautiful. But most importantly, stay blessed. Kimacho or Kamochi. Bye. Make up. Make up.